There have been a few COVID variants which have caused concern. Another strain of the virus is catching the attention of health experts and the White House. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti spoke with one local expert about, how the, about the new variant known as Omicron. As scientists and medical experts study the newest variant of COVID-19, Mercy Health's chief medical officer tells me this was to be expected, even though it's been nearly two years since the first form of the virus was discovered. The, the fact that, that we saw Delta, the fact that we're seeing this new variant now, that's what we see with viruses. So this isn't a surprise. It will continue to happen, to be honest. At the White House this afternoon, the president said early reports show symptoms of the so-called Omicron variant are milder than other forms of the virus, calling it cause for concern, but not panic. We have the best vaccine in the world, <clears throat> the best medicines, the best scientists, and we're learning more every single day. For now, experts believe getting fully vaccinated, including booster shots, may be the best defense. It's not perfect, it's not 100%, but it will reduce the impact of the infection that you get. Dr. Kravick tells me as respiratory virus cases are on the rise at hospital systems like Mercy Health, 80% of those hospitalized here with COVID have never been vaccinated, and nearly all of the cases involving COVID in the ICU have never been vaccinated either. So those numbers are very clear, and they've been very consistent. At Mercy Hospitals, they've been very consistent across the state as we've shared data with other hospital systems. In the meantime, the president says his administration will keep an eye on Omicron to make sure existing vaccines continue to be effective. My team is already working with officials at Pfizer and Moderna and Johnson and Johnson to develop contingency plans for vaccines or boosters if needed. It could be several weeks before we know the impact of this latest variant. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.